It's a dog eat dog world. This is a cool. All right, so this is a box from the late great Jerry Smith estate. All right. Brad, you now have access to, to, to the, the box. box of knives. Oh my, okay. Yeah, there's uh, there's a, either one gigantic heavy knife in there or there are several knives because that box has got to weigh 10, 12 pounds at least. 14, 16, maybe 16.3 pounds. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's uh, let's just pull something out. Okay. Yeah. And it's full. It's got uh, it's got knives. Oh boy. All right. So let's uh, put that down. All right. So that'll be a reference box. Actually, that box weighs more than 10 or 12 pounds. Uh, it might be 16 pounds. That's going to be the box that we pull stuff out of here and there. Okay. Well, this is kind of a pretty one. Um, let's do that. At Chester. Dude, I, I, I'm kind of being a fan right now. I'm so excited to see. Can you just, can we just look at the box just a little bit? Can we just, oh. just, no, not this one. This, no. this one. I just, just I just, I'm, right. I, as a photographer, I'm Jones and. Okay. okay. So, I just want to see. Oh, okay. So, we have this. I don't want to see everyone. I just want to see kind of what's going oh, on. Oh, in there. there. Okay. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> so you, oh, boy. Okay. All right. That's it. I, the future to come. All right. Do oh, you. Wait, now you do you again. Sheath. <clears throat> all right. So let's see, and first of all, uh, oh, this is, might be one of those tricky, you gotta turn it, you gotta push on it, there's no buttons, there's- That's a neat finish. Something there, give me a minute. Um, oh, you gotta get your finger inside. That. This is rare, yeah. stumping Brad <clears throat> Buckner. I would really hate to have to try to get this out in a hurry because if you look here, there's the side pieces, then there's the center one, and it is a little bit knurled on there, but to get a hold of it, it's not that easy, okay? You'd have to practice. So anyway, it's pretty cool knife. It's got a pretty cool finish on it. Uh, it is not real cheap when you do this. It's tight. It's actually a pretty cool knife. Um, I just wouldn't want to have to get at it in a, in a real hurry. I can actually see the cutting edge. So I know. Oh, come on. I'm not gonna push as hard as I normally do, but boy, I'll tell you what, if you can go that deep into your thumb with <clears throat> in the skin and not get cut, it's pretty dull. So that's, uh, I'm still waiting for the day that I bleed. <laughs> 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 All right, so anyway, it, it's not as bad as you might think. And it will cut if you kind of coax it, turn the paper, make the paper a little stiffer like that cut into it like that come on down in little you know little movements like that uh, okay so let's demo the uh, round the poker chip the little one all right goes right on your keychain or in your pocket mine I don't have anything on my keychains none of my sharpeners ever on my keychain it's always I take the the eyelets off of them and everything throw it away put it in my pocket and, and uh, carry it with me everywhere I go so we do have the two corners okay we got a 90 degree corner there 90 degree corner there just like if you look at the back of your knife, you'll understand because there's a 90 degree corner, 90 degree corner. They're identical, basically. All right, but this is about five, six times harder probably than the blade. <clears throat> so let's just run along here like this, about a, whoops, sorry, about a 10 degree bevel up like this, let it turn a little bit, okay, like that. And then we just slide that corner along the blade. I always run in little increments like this because I can touch the blade uh faster this way than i can all the way out like that so we just do this and with me speed is the whole thing to sharpening for me i can sharpen knives faster than probably just about anybody because i understand exactly what i'm doing and i move along quite fast so if you had a belt sander uh or you know something like that that's mechanical that's running you know 1500 rpms or something uh you know then you, you'll you'll beat me there but otherwise, it would probably be just a little bit hard for you to beat me sharpening a knife because my tungsten carbide corners are so hard. They're very sharp. They're so much harder than the blade. And I move, see, actually, I don't really have, I sort of don't have a hold of the sharpener, actually. I've actually got a hold of the keychain apparatus. My thumb is on there like that. All right, so it, it's kind of floaty like that. So when it comes up against my thumb like that, I, I, I quit pushing unless I need to get a hold of the sharpener and put a little more pressure on it. Okay, but otherwise, 
it, it's kind of floating in there and when it touches my thumb I quit pushing down on it so it's kind of a pressure gauge just like that and I never grasp these hard because then my hand doesn't work it, nothing works right if I'm loose like this it'll kind of float my hand kind of you know floats like that but if you really have a hold of it like this nothing works right so please don't do that just like this like that okay now I'm gonna flip the knife every pass when you see me start flipping the knife every pass that means I'm assuming that the knife is pretty sharp and I'm gonna uh, polish the blade take that wire edge off now this blade is actually a little bit soft I can feel it biting the blade and the softer the blade, the harder it is to get that wire edge off because it just folds forth and back like that. What I want it to do is I want to fold it back and forth like that a few times and then I'll tip the sharpener uh, a little bit more than, than should be, just a little, and touch it super light so I actually cut that little uh, wire edge off the blade. <clears throat> so it is definitely sharper. <clears throat> You know, and if you can go out there and tease that along and keep cutting in, oh, come on, catch, there you go, and keep cutting into the paper, and that might be pretty close, there it goes, that's about the last one, and uh, so let me feel a little bit, okay, I think there's just a little bit of a wire edge on this side, so we just do this, polish the blade for just a little longer, uh, I suggest like maybe 20, uh, on each side touch it like that touching it super light and let's see it, it <clears throat> and it doesn't make all that much difference when you're just oh god that bites um, when you're just out cutting things you know paper string boxes tape uh, you know you're whittling on a stick you're doing things that you know you're not slicing paper paper is really something else because it's really thin and any little nick any in imperfection on the blade okay that paper will find and make it very hard for you to cut so anyway that's good enough on that one uh, let's let's do what everybody does okay if it'll stick and take your fingernail off that easy and I think on the black blade you're gonna see it all right this is Brad Buckner sharpensbest.com and that is the little poker chip goes right in your pocket everywhere you go when you go through the airport throw it in with your keys and your change don't say a word uh, it's completely, I think the word might be benign. Uh, it doesn't really do anything. It won't cut you. You know, you can choke somebody with it maybe, but other than that, it, you know, it's not going to harm anybody. So this is Brad Buckner, SharpensBest.com, another knife out of the box. Oh, real quick, let's just okay. just look at the box. Pull a cool knife out okay. before we do all the other videos on right. the box. Let's just see if we can pull. Okay, oh, you so just grabbed? I right. did. I just grabbed. Whoa, that's a pretty cool Jeez. knife. Uh, it, it looks like it's got a plywood, uh, it's probably called stabilized wood. Uh, it's been dyed green. This, I believe, is probably antler. Okay, and then it has your probably stainless steel and some leather in there. Like that. Ooh. All right, and the same thing out here. And it appears to be very well made. The, I can see that the uh, tang of the knife is that round hole right there. And that... <clears throat> That's probably where they welded it and then didn't get it sanded perfectly. That's okay. Well, um, more to come from the box of knives. Yeah. All right, so we're going to get into these knives. We'll talk to you later. Thanks.